Hello, K4. Last week, we talked about feelings happy and sad. This week, we're going to talk about more feelings. This is Ethan. He likes to read books. Ethan's friend Danny brought a new book to school. Would you like to read my new book? Asked Danny. Ethan opened the book and looked at the pictures. He turned the next page and wow! Part of the picture popped right up from the book. It was a pop-up book and he did not know it. Ethan is surprised. How does Ethan's face show that he is surprised? Look at the photo. Ethan's mouth is wide open. His eyebrows are up and his eyes are open. Looking at someone's face is one way to tell how he or she feels. Another way to tell how someone is feeling is to focus attention on what's happening. Think about what happened in the story. Yes, Ethan was looking at the pictures. He didn't know it was a pop-up book. If you had the same idea, tickle your chin. Nice job. When you are surprised, you show that you didn't know something was going to happen. Ethan didn't know that part of the picture would pop up in the book, but it did. Pretend you had a surprise. Pretend a friend gave you a gift. You had no idea. Show me how your face looks when you're surprised. <gasps> yes. Now, you have two ways to tell how other people feel. Number one, you can look at their faces for clues. And you can focus your attention on what is happening. Okay, let's talk about another feeling. This is Tina. Suddenly, she hears a really loud noise. It's very loud. The noise keeps going and going. Tina doesn't know what it is. She doesn't like it. It hurts her ears. Look at Tina's face. Tina is feeling afraid. Another word for afraid is scared. What parts of Tina's face show that she's scared? Mm. Eyes wide open, eyebrows raised, mouth open, maybe some teeth showing. Pretend you are afraid. Make a face that shows you're really scared. Keep your scared face on and turn to your friend. I wonder what's happening in the story that Tina is feeling scared about. Do you know? Let's think. Oh, the loud noise is a fire alarm. There's not a real fire. You know what? So there are two ways to tell how other people feel. Do you remember? One, you can look at their faces for clues. And two, you can focus your attention on what is happening. All right, well friends, that is our lesson today. Sometimes we are going to feel surprised and it's a great thing, but sometimes we might feel afraid or scared and that's okay too it's okay to feel how we feel all right until next time k4 i'll see you bye